this in fact, in James Price Point, is a story about community and how we're going to support that community who have put everything on the line. And they have put everything on the line. It is grandmothers and it is school teachers and it is local people who never in their life thought they were going to have to go and stand up against some of the most powerful forces that are arrayed on this planet. They never thought they would have to, but here they are. And they are fighting and they are winning. That's why we're here tonight. So that's the story of community. It's about the power of community. Let them find something for them know that we care, that we're there for them, that we support what they're doing, and that the actions of those who want to push through this ridiculous development will be held to account. Will be held to account and that we will make our voices known. So that's why we're here. The community in Broome over the last four years has taken on a truly heroic battle. The cliche of David and Goliath doesn't even come close to expressing how powerful the campaign has been up in Brew. <laughs> the forces that are arrayed against us, one of which we're standing in front of here today, are some of the biggest transnational companies on the planet. The mob in Broome started off as literally a very few. Literally, you could count them on their hand, the people that said it's worth having this fight when it became clear that this massive industrial development was going to be located 60 k's north of Broome at James Price Point. Most folks in Broome didn't want this development. Most folks in the Kimberley didn't want this development, but they looked at the forces that were arrayed against them commitment from all the politicians uh, in power at the time, um, the size of the companies, the Shells, the Chevrons, the BPs, the BHPs, the Woodsides, and you could understand that many of them thought, we can't win, yet fight they did, and their fight has grown and grown and grown stronger and stronger and stronger, and that is why 250 coppers ended up in Broome over the last couple of days because the voice of Broome has become irresistible. Last three, 